Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga and today I'm going to uh, show you how I transfer a Mazda Velia into self-watering. This is my th a third uh, Mazda Velia. The other two I will show them uh, in the uh, last part of this video. I will do a little update on them. But uh, I did exactly the same which I'm going to do with this one with one exception because those Mazda values are standing in a uh, media that I don't like and it's not Lekka for a change. Well, it's not, not really that I don't Lekka, but it's, I don't, do not prefer Lekka, I prefer Pommes. This media, I, yeah, I am uh, yeah, really not liking, I put it because it's uh, uh, Ceramas and the idea of Ceramas is fantastic, but the dust is driving me crazy. It keeps getting and uh, making dust because that's how it is. So, but those are parted up in, uh, in Ceramas. This one is going to uh, be in uh, Decentic and with the small pommes. You probably guessed it already, but yeah, that is what I'm going to use. So this one is the first one in that mixture, but I'm pretty sure it should do well. Um, and um, I must admit, I'm filming this on the 12th of November, and yesterday I saw a video of Ed's Orchids, and he uh, showed a Mazda Valley as well, a beautiful orange one, and it did look very, very similar. So I'm kind of sure yeah, pretty sure that is this is the same one. Um, if you look it up on the internet, you will find pictures where this bloom does show more orange. But uh, he had a uh, actual name tag for it, and then you will see the orange with the darker stripes, purple reddish stripes, and also the back of the bloom. If you're going to look it up, look at the back of the bloom. And I think this is so close that I at least going to give this the name of that orchid, and it was the uh, Masdevelia. Inca Prince. I hope you can see that with a glare. But um, and I'm going this to give this his name. I'm not saying that I'm 100% sure, but I uh, like to give my artist a name so it, that makes it easier for me to keep notes of them. And I don't like to give them a number. It feels so unpersonal. So I like to give them a name, and I always remember. And I will do put a quot 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 quotation mark. I'm sorry. <laughs> There, before I forget, just do it quickly because this is how I normally do it. Name tag with a quotation mark, uh, mark and that's how I know that it officially is a null ID. But I have to give it a name. And some names are so obvious that I do not even give them a quotation mark, but anyhow. <laughs> so that's the name tag. And I think, uh, so if you want, if you are curious, Look up the uh, video from Ed's Arcade uh, from 11, uh, no no yeah, November the 11th, and you will, will see it. So let's start uh, going and let's have a look uh, in the side of this pot, see what we're dealing with, and then uh, we're going to repot it in self watering And no, you guys, they didn't came out of the pot, so it would be very strange. This is from my slipper Arcade. I do the repots on the same evening. I did make several uh, separate videos out of it because of the time, but that's why. And I didn't clean it up yet because there's more to come. So I uh, do that um, in one single action. <laughs> okay, that sounds a bit strange. Can we see it? No, I, uh, not good enough. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. I think this is better. So we have some bark in the bottom of the pot, and then we have quite some moss. These really like uh, this like repots as well. So I really try to uh, slowly pull out the moss because we have some uh, beautiful roots. So I hope I can keep them alive. I don't want to damage them too much. This moss, at least on the outside, is not too packed, too compact. But, um, yeah, and I like this, I like the green moss. Probably will get it back. I'm going to leave a little bit of that moss on the roots and then it, normally it starts to, uh, to grow again. At least in, in my climate it does. But you never know if uh, there are some snail eggs in it, so therefore I like to, uh, for now, get it off as much as I can, just to be sure. Better safe than sorry, of course.
Yeah, this is starting to get smelly, so it was about time. And then we have a coconut hog plug that's in the middle, I think. I would expect um, mouse, and there's something around it. Yeah. I have never had this before. I don't know what type of the material it is. This is, but yeah, and it's not my favorite. And we have all those roots that were in there are uh, dead now. That happens more, of course, because also those are the older roots in most cases, but still. I didn't like uh, the plug itself. We don't have a very big root system. And it may sound a little bit silly, but I like to have, uh, I prefer a few, a few good roots than a compl complete pot filled with roots because those roots are probably most of them will go anyhow because I put it in self watering so I prefer to pot uh, yeah put up uh, younger orchids into self watering because it's a bit easier to get them growing but that's me and uh, I do a pot of course all the uh, orchids with a uh, massive root system but it takes a little bit more work and I lose always a lot of roots and I'm going to pull this out as much as I can we have some stuff left from that block and I think you can see that those re roots really uh, start choosing the outer, the outside of the pot, the edge of the pot. Maybe because they didn't like it, what was happening in the middle. You never know, of course, but it looks looks kind of like it. So maybe this orchid was trying to tell a story, and nobody did listen. <laughs> well, if you have that many arcs that we saw in the uh, open house video can you imagine if you have to repot them all that would be crazy I never would see an arc again I think <laughs> so so many so yeah and probably the prices will be uh, would be much higher because of all that work that extra work so yeah I prefer to repot it myself doesn't matter and I like to uh, grow them in, in another system as well most of them do not come in self-watering of course I never bought a new orchid in the, that was growing in self-watering or same hydroponics so therefore I had to repot them anyhow and I also like to repot new orchids because then you have a general idea of what what you're working with and that is something that I like as well So yeah, I uh, try to do some uh, repots videos on my channel as well, because we learn a lot from it. But I must admit, when I, like in this case, if I'm working with a root system and moss, I'm always very focused. And so that's why I'm not that chatty um, in most videos when I'm repotting. It's not that I don't have nothing to say, because I can talk about my orcas all day, <laughs> no problem. But um, it's because I'm focused and I'm not so good in doing two or more things at one time. And I know, at least in the Netherlands, we have a sort of saying that women are better in doing um, multitasking than men. And according to my, 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 uh, my school where I went, I am, uh, officially I'm a, a social worker. And we have uh, beautiful courses, and one of them, they uh, there was a, they had to research it and did their uh, tests, etc. And it turns out that it's just not possible for anybody, sorry ladies, but for anybody to have a complete 100% focus on two different things. And if you put it like that, for me, it, it made sense straight away, because you cannot focus. 
at two things at one time. So you probably may can multitask, but you never can give 100%. So yeah, there it is. <laughs> and if, like I said, if you think about it, it makes sense. So I'm not giving you guys always 100% while I'm repotting, but now you know why. <laughs> It's not because of you, it's not because I'm trying to be rude or anything. I try to give a 100% uh, of my argument, I guess. No, I'm not guessing because I want to save those roots, of course. So I don't want to break them. And we need to be focused. But I like to share my uh, experience for, with you guys, for those who like uh, these types of videos. And I know there are some guys, uh, some people who like more the blooming updates and they will come of course uh, some walk walk through or have a look in the greenhouse updates and stuff I'm working on those days those videos will be up and maybe in the meantime I did already put some up because I have quite a few videos uh, ready to go so I'm not completely sure when I will upload upload this one and I think in the Last of November, I, I am uh, completely done with uh, being in advance uh, video-wise. I'm not really, really enjoying it. I like to uh, have quite some subjects, but I'm a little behind. No, no, yeah, no, I, no, not really behind schedule, but I don't have more time. And I did make quite some videos, <laughs> so uh, with quite some lot of information that I would like to have to uh, on my my um, channel, so I can. Uh, a link link it because those subjects most of them uh, I do get quite often on uh, in, in, in questions so I can link people to a specific video for example I didn't have a video about how I transfer a uh, Mazda Valley into self-watering well after re uh, recording this and uploading it I will have it so I can link to people and that's what I like so I don't have to do quite uh, quite much reportings I could do updates and link to people because I can imagine when you are here for uh, longer on this channel or on the channel or, or on other channels, I'm sorry. Seeing con constantly uh, repotting videos is not not really nice. I think I like to uh, switch it up here and there. So I hope I do a good job at that. <laughs> I try my best. So yeah, I think. Let me check for one more time. No, I. I thought it was there, but there's still more moss to come out in the center. But I will do the rest uh, underneath the tap and then I will uh, give it a rinse of hydrogen peroxide and I will be back with a new system, new setup. So I did grab my new pot. Well, actually, I'm going to reuse this one. I did a uh, a repot about potting on one, so I kept this pot, and I think it suits the Mattevelia very nicely. Those do not need very big pots. I have a layer of Syntec, so my pumice will not fall through those holes because I'm going to use this very nice small pumice. We'll put a layer in first, push it down a little bit. They don't need as much air as the other orchids. Root wise, but just a little bit more than I have on my slipper orchid. So I leave it a little bit looser in the pot. But, well, at least in my experience, I'm not saying this is the the fruit and this is how you need to do it, <laughs> but it's how I do it. <laughs> it's very important, but um, always uh, check your uh, environment, etc., and what you can give to the plant, of course. I will do a uh, bit of Cintiq again in the middle of the uh, root bulb. This is also what I did with my uh, slipper orchid and what I did with my Puffio Pedalums. But this is uh, so now I know I have some Cintiq underneath that uh, plant for any new roots to come out so to grow into. Because I like, I noticed that they uh, do like the Cintiq, so therefore uh, I like to put in a little bit. Little layer of Cintiq, and I will put a little bit more around the roots on the other side. It 
if I can tangle it, yes, there it is and there we go and now I'm pulling up the arc a little bit so it will fall around the roots a bit more easier and let's grab another scoop of Cintiq uh, pumice, of course. I'm very gently tapping on the small pumice and pushing only on the sides of the pot because I know there are no roots yet, so I can push it a little bit harder and I create. A nice a layer. I'm sorry. A nice layering effect, almost. But uh, yeah, this is how I like to pot them up. But I must admit, this is the first time that I use pumice. But I'm I'm almost convinced that it will be okay. A few pebbles on the other side. On the top layer. So as a sort of prevention uh, for the dry top layer and also I like the look of it. Just a few there. Pebbles will keep it uh, the moisture more into the pot so we don't get a dry top layer. That we otherwise well at least in my case as well that I do get quite easily in summer most of the times when the temperature is uh, up but the pebbles uh, will uh, prevent that so it will uh, stay moist around the top more but the pebbles do not wick any water so you can have laying them around the bases the, uh, of the arcade and it will not start to rot because these do not stay wet for long so I'm going to rinse it and then uh, to flush it and rinse it and then we will have a last look at this beauty. So and there uh, she is, I'll put it up. I have the tag here and let me put it in. And this is how she uh, is looking now. I think uh, she looks very very great. I really like the look of it. These type of pots. And what I did, I just this flush it, and I left a little bit of water in the in the reservoir, but not what you expect, just a teeny tiny bit. I hope you can see this. Yes, you can see it. Just just a teeny tiny bit um, to 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 uh, keep it moist in inside of the pot because these do not like to dry up. But I will not give it a full reservoir because I probably damaged some roots, so I will give it some time to recover and slowly build up the reservoir. That's how I do my mess de Vellias. But don't let them dry up, they really hate it. But don't get them too wet as well. So you need to figure out, but this is how I do it. I have, yeah, just just that little, not even a thickness of my finger. So <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Maybe half a centimeter, not, something like that, not more. So just a teeny tiny bottom of water. So, this is it for now for this up putting and I promise you guys to do an update on my uh, other two um, Mazda values. So let's uh, grab them. Uh, no, we can get over them. I will take the camera with me and uh, we ha will have a look. And we will take this one uh, with us, put her in her next uh, new uh, home, new next place, I would say, <laughs> in her new home. So my Mazda values do live here in the arcade room and let me sit down on the floor so we can have a, a close look up at the beautiful one this is the one obviously that we just did a repot but behind that one we have another Mr. Velia that's my first one and there we have in the back another one that's my second one that's the Ignea that's this one and Mr. Velia Ignea I didn't put a date on apparently 
So, but this is in my collection for about uh, probably eight or nine months, I think. You can see here the ceramics, and I did use a little bit of lava rock and also some Cintiq in it apparently and we have a root there, I hope you can see it so not much root wise yet, here we have a root there as you can see but it's not a big plant as well so it's slowly uh, growing and adapting it has new growth here so I think it uh, will be fine that's the first one and then the second one which is actually my first master value, this is the I bought it as a black velvet and this is the first rebloom on a Mazda Velia ever for me. So, and this one is probably in my care for one and a half year. I may have a tag. This, that was one old leaf. Let me check. Yes, I have a tag here. And oh yeah, it's uh, over a year now. It's the fifteenth of October. 2020 I uh, did repot it and as you can see it's the black velvet at least listed as a black velvet I'm not completely sure if it really is the black velvet but we will have a, a close look up in the near future if this progresses and so far so good so let me try to get it out I don't know yeah and here we have more ceramics and more roots that would be ex to be expected oh I'm sorry if you can see them but always some residue from the ceramics that orange dust which I really uh, hate so I stopped using it but I use it for the ferns that I did put up not that long ago and I have just a little bit left and that's it and then I'm not going to use that again because I have now have the small pumice and this one is uh, as we saw we put it, this one in, in small pumice and I think it should be fine but we uh, we can check it in a few months. They this do not grow very fast for me so we uh, need to be patient on the Mesa Valleas. But those two are really uh, doing well uh, in uh, self-watering so this one shouldn't be anything different about it. But uh, yeah, so that's my, uh, this is my Mesa Valleas. This is my Restrepia, I only have one. With a teeny tiny bloom on, I think this is the third, third time that it bloomed for me. Some older leaves here. But anyhow, <laughs> we were talking about that. The Mazda Valleas. So this is uh, how I do a repot my Mazda Valleas into uh, self-watering. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in, in the comment section below. And for now, I uh, hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye!